You are listening to the Park Flyer Podcast, where we discuss our RC adventure. Welcome to the Park Flyer Podcast, where we discuss the ups and downs of the new RC Flyer. Join your hosts, Michael and Jay, as they take flight at the park. Now on with the show. Welcome to the Park Flyer Podcast. I'm Michael from Arizona. With me always are my good friends. Jay from the hills of Texas. Shannon G and Mesa AZ. And uh, we are uh, at the Arizona Electric Festival still. Uh, it is um, the last day. We've already kind of closed out the show, but yeah. this is our free, flow, our free fly. And uh, we are joined today by Sean Lang. He uh, has a YouTube channel, uh, redbeardreviewsrc.com, I believe is what it is, right? Redbeard Reviews RC on YouTube. RC, oh, pff, yeah, there you go. See? You forgot the, the little... Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> I'm so used to doing things online. It's just crazy. So, Anyway, uh, Sean has been out here all weekend. And is this your first... Uh, this is my first time to Arizona. Right first here. time to Arizona. So. Welcome. Welcome to the... That. Yeah, excellent. And uh, what did you think of the... Um, of the uh, electric festival, it was really good. Yeah, it was really good. There yeah. was there was quite a, a different array of planes, and it's nice to see the youth out here too. That's yeah, really this cool. is yeah, the biggest it. youth yeah. that we've seen out here in a long, yeah, long time. Really cool. yeah. yeah, it's been a you know kind of a on and off for us. Some some years we have a lot of youth, and some years we don't have any. So it's been it's been really good for us. So we uh, enjoyed it. Matter of fact, I gave t-shirts to everybody. So all that's the cool. kids that flew, we gave yeah, t-shirts. Cool. So. Well, uh, so kind of walk us through uh, a little bit. How'd you get into RC and give us a little background? So for my uh, so my thirtieth birthday, my wife asked me what I wanted, and I said something that I could do with my grandfather because he's aging, and right. I wanted something we could do together and spend time together. And when I was a little kid, he uh, he would look up in the air and say, "Oh, that sounds like a pits, or that sounds like a steerman, or that sounds like a cub." Right. And he'd look up, and sure enough, there'd be a cub flying by, or a steerman, <laughs> or whatever it was. And so he was a B twenty nine mechanic in uh, forty six, and during the later part of of the war there, and and uh, went to Okinawa. So he got to spend some time around the forty sevens and the fifty mm-hmm. ones and all that cool stuff. And it just always got in my blood. I mean, he was a little. When sure. I was a little kid, he'd show me, hey, yeah, this is a Corsair, or this is that, and right. I just kind of got hooked, and so it's always been in my blood, and whenever he said, you know, whenever she asked, I thought, you know, that would be perfect, why don't you just give me an RC plane? Right. So, it was an Easy Star. Okay. Yep. Very nice. Rocking the Easy Star was yeah. my first one, <laughs> and uh, learned at... In Los Lunas, New Mexico, with uh, the Sub Club Flyers. No kidding. Yep. Shout out to the Sub Club Flyers. There you go. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, they uh, they helped me get my uh, my wings, so to speak. And my granddad, as we uh, as we progressed in scale and stuff, my granddad clipped the wings on my Easy Star, mm. uh, cut some ailerons in for me. Yeah. Yeah. There you so go. souped up the motor, got a brushless <laughs> motor there on There you it. go. Yeah, back when more power, more yeah, power, exactly, <laughs> more power, exactly. So got that easy start screaming, and uh, we we uh, modified some glider wings. He put he put I don't know I still don't know how he did it, but I think he bought two pair of easy star wings and just cut the middle section out and extended it out. That's nice. Yeah, so we had a big glider easy star wing set. We oh, had that's a, cool. A, a, the regular one that I kind of taught him on, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, the aileron chopped wing set so just kind of got hooked from that's there cool that is awesome yeah and uh is he still with us he is actually oh good so this, that's excellent Hi, Grandpa. Love you. <laughs> Love you. he's uh hanging out on the youtube yep, channel i give him a debrief every time <laughs> i fly <laughs> that yeah. is awesome yeah. well that sounds like it's uh kind of been in the family for a while and it's good to have a resource like that it that really can kind is of do it really is in it as they say, good, clean, fun, right, for the yeah, family. So that is true. That lasting is true. memories that you'll never forget. Yeah. 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 So Very, very times. interesting. Yeah. So kids. where did you go from there? You Obviously, the Easy Star. What happened next? Right. The Easy Star. From then, I got a P-47, the old E-Flight popcorn foam one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. one of them. Yeah. That didn't go too well. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go well. And, uh, <laughs> Doesn't quite fly like the Easy Star? <laughs> no, no, not like an Easy Star. I don't, And I really... To this day, I'm still not sure what happened to that one, but the uh, the 
we, we, we graduated from there to the to the E flight park park sorry park zone course there before right. they were the E flight right and uh, so that I still have that to this day hanging wow. on my hangar wall so that's cool yeah and he of course made me a clipped wing set for those because we were doing some pylon racing back in the day with mm. those yeah and it was Corsairs Trojans or P51s whatever you wanted and as long as you didn't modify the engine setup you could do whatever you wanted to the to the airframe oh so nice clipped it put some fences on it yeah we we're gonna run that in the uh wow that's races. quite the test pilot you oh, yeah. kind of do some stuff and you know kind of modify the airframe yeah so my granddad was like a skunk works at a time. yeah <laughs> <laughs> skunk works cool. rc uh, maybe that's a whole new you youtube right, channel right? Yeah. that'd be pretty cool <laughs> That'd be kind of probably cool, copyrighted. So. Yeah, probably yeah. so. You never know. Well, look it up and see. That'd be kind of neat. Uh, so, so what do you normally fly, or what what is it that you normally kind of uh, mostly EDFs or or just type? Uh, a few years ago, I I got inspired to through watching the channels and and I realized that no offense to the people out there who are sponsored or who get things mm -hmm. sent to them, right? But a lot of them kind of are a little biased right mm -hmm. and, and i didn't find anybody that was out there you know saying hey this is what to, to watch out for or mm -hmm. maybe this is a little underpowered or i fly at a at an altitude of around five thousand right. feet right. So right sometimes everything that you see on the videos in california or wherever they do the videos more like sea level and right. it doesn't fly at all sometimes when you take it to albuquerque yeah right. right. sure so uh we we try to just Tell the truth about what we find and our experience and and what we're dealing with. It's never biased. I, I don't try to bring like, oh, I don't hate this company or that company. I just kind of was looking for somebody who was like, hey, yeah, they sent me this, but this is not cool. You right. Know, this retract right. or this that. Right. And a lot of times people just breeze over that and say, oh yeah, this is great. Go buy it. You right. know. And so I try to. I wanted to try to start something that was a little more homegrown and a little more. Um, review based and mm -hmm. it's kind of I've kind of gotten a, a little bit away from the reviews just because of work uh, I work in a weird industry that gives me three months off at a time and then I'll go back and work 60 hours a week for right. you know a month at a time so sure. so it, I kind of dance around that but I, I try to keep um, things coming and um, long term reviews I got a B2 long-term review coming out because i've been flying that right. for coming up on a couple of years now who, who makes the uh the b2 free wing oh okay it's yeah. a free wing b2 i love that thing yeah yeah, yeah. 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 there's a uh, few of them here yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So saying, we, we we mainly like free wing motion rc type style yeah. planes yeah, with, they do we, well for yeah. the most part they do very very well they're yeah. coming out they're they're stepping up a lot uh, i gotta say their Eurofighter is phenomenal the new plug uh, uh the, the uh, wing system they mm -hmm. have easy clips that they have mm -hmm. on the b25 really nice the Eurofighters, uh the scale light um um sequence that they have on there mm -hmm. it really sets that thing off and, right, yeah. right right and the gear doors the air dam it's just on point and so the foam the way they're covering it now mm -hmm. instead of the little cells that you see in there right. they got the Right. The free wings really come up. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, one of the things when we did the Avanti, kind of talked about the Avanti review for the V2, we realized that, you know, what causes the popcorn is that it's unpainted, right? They yep. leave it white, yep. and the heat makes it, you know, pop. Yep. And uh, on the Avanti, they painted everything with this, what I would call shark gray, which is uh, just not white, but just barely off white and it's enough to keep it from just popcorning everywhere. So Very cool. you can see that they've, you know, they're, their hobby squawk is what they use, and and those guys, uh, we're, we know some of the motion RC guys, and uh, we've you know that A10 behind you is is one of the first ones, so we um, we've kind of gone back with them, but they 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 do listen to their you know audience, and, that's really and cool. guys have complained about it, and then they've kind of figured it out. So yep. it's, it's always much, nice when a manufacturer much does appreciated, yeah, yeah, for sure. So do you have a favorite airplane at all, or uh, right now, kind of I'm um, I'm sticking with the 80 mil. F-16, mm -hmm. I've got that tricked out with an afterburner and a custom paint job. Very that cool. nice. My friend had uh, passed away, and he destroyed the fuselage on his, but the wings, the tail, and the elevators uh, were perfect. Yeah? So I took the yellow wings, tail, elevator, and vertical stab, 
stick them on the gray. Oh, very nice. Comes out really nice. Comes oh, out nice. Yeah. Nice. So it's got so, like a little custom paint job yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> Well, I, I may know of a viper set of wings, tail. That no, I'm just kidding. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> a little, a little, yeah, run, a little, little yeah. Yeah. You crash heard, one plane. Heard, right? Right? Well, there, Next Mike. thing, gee, what, did you end up on a calendar or I something? I know, right? He is. He's gonna be the calendar guy. End up on That's a podcast. Funny. Funny. I yeah, tell you, exactly. 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 It's a rough crowd, folks. I'm telling you. I know, right? It is. That's it's a rough right. crowd. We saw, we saw plenty out here this weekend. Yeah, yeah. we did. The Horizon yeah, guys smashed a couple things. Yeah, they did. It's all right when the pros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. they just walk over to the van oh, and just yeah, pull just out pull another out one. Nice. Yeah, they got a whole nice like too. you know peanuts or something. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> you know. Uh, so, what was the first uh, RC airplane you reviewed? Uh, the first one I reviewed, uh, I believe, was the Cessna, the one point or uh, the two point one meter Cessna. Mm -hmm. I love that plane. And who, uh, who was that by? Who the E flight? The E flight. Yeah. One. Okay. Yeah, it's very a, cool. That's a great flyer. I got the tail dragging version. Did you? Yeah, there's a, a not a lot of well, there back in the day before Freya, uh -huh. right? We could kind of go do what we out. want, be yeah, Americans. Yeah, yeah. I remember those <laughs> days. Out, out in the bush, there was a lot of a territory in New Mexico where you could just go kind of where you wanted. And yeah, I did a video we've where a, I flew. we've been a few of those places. Yeah, <laughs> I love those places. And they're they're challenging to fly in sometimes. Yeah, but, but you can get some spectacular footage. I have. A video on my channel where I flew in the Taos Gorge. Oh, no oh, kidding. Nice. Uh, and so my buddy had an Inspire, and he was up there hovering his Inspire, and I was doing stuff around him. And there's this crazy road that's off the side of a cliff, and it's not even a road anymore because it uh, collapsed a lot. They had a cave in. Oh, so yeah. It's kind of just like a dirt path now for walking, and I landed my Cessna on the side of that. Nice. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. So. That is cool. That makes for some good footage, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it did. And yeah. uh, so we had a lot of fun doing that kind of thing back in the day, but that, I bought it kind of to be a bush plane, but now yeah. it's kind of been relegated to the asphalt. So I'm thinking about buying a, <laughs> thinking about buying the tricycle setup for it. Oh, there you go. It's a lot, yeah. it's a lot better handling on the, tr on the asphalt. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Tail draggers are better for off airport dirt, that kind yeah, of thing. Exactly. So, yeah. totally and I really good. like the Focke Wolf 192, the, the E-Flight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've got my buddy. I, uh, I had a, pretty funny I, I i googled uh camo for my falco wolf you know i, mm -hmm. I was kind of no no offense he flight sorry but <laughs> I, I didn't dig the polka dots yeah. Know, mm -hmm. yeah so i i was looking through it and i actually found someone uh that was a, a pilot that i i loved the paint scheme and then i realized that the pilot who flew it had my last name. Oh, no kidding. Uh, Amril, Amril Lang. Was his yeah. Name. And he had 190 kills or something like that. And then, so it was a, a Russian, uh, uh, I think it was, they said an Eastern Front camo. So okay. Yep, I had yep. my buddy do some stuff. And then Callie. Oh, yeah. Callie from Graphics. Cali Graphics. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Apparently awesome. She's, she's just down the road from us. In oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, you're right. Oh, yeah. So she, I forgot. Uh, she's uh, down that way. Yeah. So she uh, made me up a set of beautiful graphics for my. E flight 190, and I think that might have been actually the first plane that got on the channel that I reviewed. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, that, that's the fun part about this hobby is that, uh, you know, you can buy a kit, and uh, if the kit's not what you want, you know, you can throw some primer on the paint. And, it's one of my favorite things know, to do. Make it make it yours. Yeah. yeah. You know? Anybody who's seen my channel knows that I, I modify basically every plane I get. Yeah? Yeah. That sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we might have done that once it's or twice. It's nice when everybody, you know, can fly their Thunderbird together and it looks like you go yeah, power sure. the Thunderbirds. You know, I got a couple yeah. videos on my channel where um, some of the locals, hey, guys, good to see you guys. Shout out <laughs> to you guys. Uh, they, they get together and they do um, pretty neat. They have a, a routine. Uh -huh. They'll do – and. They get four or five. Sometimes they get a screen full of Thunderbirds, man. It's yeah, it's cool. Full nice. Screen full, yeah, yeah. yeah, four or five, and they do all the same pattern. And so they, mm. and then they do a crossing where they do a guy will go off and do an invert, and they oh, do crossing cool, in yeah. front of us. So Inverted pass. Yeah, so it's it's cool. And the other guys do you know a regular flying, right? Regular, so they invert pass and cross, and that looks really neat. And so I, I can appreciate the fact that everybody's got that same paint scheme, but as far as you know, everybody bringing the same thing and putting it out here is kind of, yeah, I kind of, it's a little. Yeah. Hey, what was the, what was the year, uh, was out here uh, at this event and everybody brought out an erratics 
Oh yeah, and everybody's yeah, flying, yeah, and it was yeah, it was, it was like a disaster. That was a bad yeah, idea. It was yeah. disaster. It was a disaster because Erratics were smashing and flying out. Oh, everybody's man. like, "Which one's my plane?" Right. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah. Well, and and it you know getting airborne and flying around in a pattern is not that big of a deal because you're constantly moving, you know, sure. so you can kind of watch your airplane go by. Right. And you're straight and level, so if it's not responding, you're like, "Oh, well, that's not that's mine." That's not mine. But right. in that particular time, he was talking about. They're all 3D airplanes. Uh-oh. So everybody flew out, right. and then they all came in over the dirt, and right. then they all went into a hover. Right. And now you have, like, everybody passing, and That's funny. you have no idea which, <laughs> yeah. which, which. And next thing you're bumping in, and the guy's like, hey, hey. And it was just like raining erratic. Wow, that's <laughs> there were good. probably what six or eight of yeah. them in the air, and yeah. and I think two guys survived. Oh, it, wow. was just, it was brutal. Yeah. That is hard. And uh, and then sure. right after that, the last guy was hovering over the runway, which he shouldn't have been. Right. And there was a, a oh, airplane the size of my Cessna. Oh that yeah. Went through. It actually, I'm I'm sorry, it wasn't the Cessna. It was the GB. Yeah. He had a GB the size of my Cessna. Low footer. Yeah. yeah. And he oh, came through, no. and the erratics turned sideways, Popcorn. and he went right through it the was, middle of it. It was balsa dust. I mean, just right through the middle of it. And it uh, tore what? the GB up. That guy it was did? not a happy uh, guy. I bet. That's... And it was a huge, yep. huge airplane. That's so, cool. yeah, I get you know, it, it does bring up the fact that, you know, if you're going to fly in a crowd or a gaggle or whatever, <laughs> you know, all of their same airplanes, he's had that problem with the wings. You yeah, know, they're yeah. both orange. So we'll go fly him, and then he'll go, whoa. And I just did it, actually. I was like, we were up really close, and we I were kind of really tangling. Neat. And then all of a sudden, I was like, hey, why is it my – oh, that's me coming down. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, watching that's the true. wrong one, and yeah. you know, I recovered it. So uh, so it's not so bad when it's up high, but down low, it's kind of crappy. So, Sean, I got to ask. I, I just got to know. So how, long, so how long after you got in flying RC and getting into the hobby did your magnificent red beard start to grow? <laughs> oh, that is actually – Quite a long time after the hobby. Oh, no kidding. I used kidding. to have a goatee, and then when I went to my job that I started, I worked in the film industry, uh-huh. and I kind of just went burly. Just let it go. Yeah. And now it's kind of, I, I put my shirt on a, a few months back, and my beard hadn't come out. I didn't pull it out yet, and my wife said, did you cut your beard? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just I haven't pulled it out. Uh-huh. So. Well, so being a, it's a formerly from Alaska, I, I appreciate any man who can have a, a, a gorgeous beard like that. I appreciate yeah. it. You know, I so. appreciate it. That is funny. I haven't cut it in uh, probably going on about nine years now. Oh, really? Nine gotcha. years, huh? Uh. You know, uh, unfortunately for me, I could probably catch you in about six months. So, oh. I mean, it's like I have I That's have those awesome. jeans. That's a gift. You know? <laughs> That's a it may be a gift. Soft but squash it's... jeans are a gift. <laughs> <laughs> jeans. Well, my wife may say uh, My wife may disagree with you. You're like, take your sweater off. I'm like, I'm not wearing any. <laughs> <laughs> Walked into that. I know, right? But I'm bumped. Oh, that's hilarious. So uh, tell me a little bit about the YouTube. What got you into the actual reviewing the channel, or how did you get started in the Like the I said, is? mostly just mostly just uh, uh, watching YouTube and finding a, a lack of, yeah. I'm not going to say honesty. I'm sure, that, I'm sure that they're enjoying flying the planes that they're flown, but I, I just didn't find anybody being... Uh, you know, adverse to anything. Everything right, right, right. that everybody said they had was great. And right. You should go buy one. So I was like, eh, some, there's got to be, you know, I've flown some things that I was like, no, this is not great. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that that was uh, because of where you are compared to where they are? Or do you think it's just because somebody sent them something and they're afraid that, you know, if they say anything negative, then they cut that off? Is that kind of the way it is? That's a good question. I, I, you know, you'd have to be, You'd have to be a company with a lot of integrity, and I mean a lot of a lot of faith in your product to to to, to send anything out to anybody in the first place, right? Mm, to, to, yeah. To review because yeah. you never know what they're going to say. You never know. But at the same time, uh, I feel like they may they may you you're probably not going to get something back again if you say that what they sent you the first time was is not garbage. worth the money yeah. that they're asking for their product. <coughs> right, right, right. And maybe it's not garbage, but a lot of times it's not garbage, but I feel like Horizon offers products that are almost you don't even have to you don't I don't worry in the back of my mind. I hope my servos aren't going to fail. Right. right, right. I don't or worry, fall out or, or fall out. <laughs> right. Any of that. And I just We're connected in any way. And it's so mm. nice. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And and I get maybe we're spoiled, but I don't I find that accountability 
is huge and that they are accountable yeah, when yeah, you buy yeah. their products they work mm -hmm. and they work like i said i still have my park zone mm -hmm. corsair i right, still have right. my park zone p47 i still have i just flew my park zone 109 on my youtube channel not that long ago so they're still i can still go fly any one of them yeah 15 years after i bought it right, right. and i don't think that a motion product as far as far as what i've consumed so far mm -hmm. would be that reliable or okay. is that reliable yeah and so for the money that they're asking i i was kind of just like you know that's a lot of money mm -hmm. the b2 i've had really good luck with i will say and i haven't put it on the channel yet and it's kind of a secret that sad secret <laughs> tear rolling down uh. my my first b2 is not flying anymore oh uh, okay i i and all I did was try to, I, I used their programmer to try to go in and I took five points off of the gain. If anybody can tell me what the heck's going on or knows anything more about this, I, I took five points off the gain of the, of the aileron, I'm sorry, sorry, elevon, mm -hmm. and now it won't get off the ground. To <laughs> it, the won't, it won't rotate no. off the ground or it, it just, it just goes straight? It, it won't rotate. <clears throat> I've, I've had full up deflection and I went way longer than it should have taken to get off the ground in, hmm. in past hmm. instances. And I had a boo-boo. So <coughs> I repainted it. Camo, of course. Yeah, sure. That way you can't <laughs> see it. It's hard enough that it's stealth, but now it's camo. Right. Well, it's, that, <laughs> it's probably desert camo. That's what I do, right? Yeah, I live in Arizona. Yep. I paint it all desert yep. brown. Yep. And it goes out there, and I go, hmm, I oh, well. <laughs> I was just doing that a while ago because the hills are nice <laughs> yeah. and green out. Yep. We've gotten a lot of rain. So yeah, that's right. My my desert camo is blending in really well over here with the green, too. So, But, yeah, I, I lost the B2, and that was a sad day. Yeah. And so That's never a good thing. That's so. seven hundred dollars, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, well, yeah. as it came. Right. So, when they're asking that much money for stuff, it's hard to to just or or when they when they're like, oh yeah, here's this Mig twenty nine for six hundred or well, I'm not sure what they're asking for it these days, mm -hmm. but the free wing Mig twenty nine, and there's all kinds of problems with it. It's known. It's been mm -hmm. well documented and. A lot of people have had issues with it. Apparently, the servo leads that go to the back are carrying way too much, way too far. Yeah. And so my friend has put, I, I believe it's two degrees of down or two degrees of up. Don't, don't quote me on it. One of the two. So that his flies, and I mean, you're paying that much money and you're having to go home and modify it so that yeah. it flies like you want it to. Right. Nothing that Horizon has, you have to go home and modify. Nothing. Yeah. You don't have to change it. You don't have to. And so that's kind of what I hold everything to as far as accountability. You know, like, is it as nice as a Horizon product? And are they asking a similar price? Right. That's kind of basically my basis on things. Cause sure. Because that's mm -hmm. what we're... That's what we're accustomed to. You know? Yeah, well, we're spending our hard-earned money on this exactly. stuff, and it's you know, not all of us have a you know, unlimited. steady unlimited you know funds for RC. It's like exactly. you Wait, put all your money in that. You guys, you guys don't have that. No, <laughs> that's why we hang out with you. <laughs> that's oh. right. Well, I don't know. <laughs> That tree in the backyard, it just produces money. I yeah. thought everybody had one of those. Oh, yeah. 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 No, no, <laughs> my, that one died a long time ago in my yard. <laughs> I watered over watered it. Uh, that's what I was going to say. I think I, mine dried up in the desert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't have one either. Don't listen to these guys. <laughs> it's like, we're all, uh, I'm supported actually by, uh, I'm sponsored by uh, Visa, MasterCard, and uh, my wife's job. So that's yeah. really cool. <laughs> Very cool. There you go. Awesome wife. We used to have that on the podcast where she, she would say that. She'd say, really? She, yeah. She'd used to say, we had an ending and it would say, these morons are sponsored by, <laughs> by awesome. Visa, MasterCard, yeah, and me, yeah. right? You know, Perfect. You know, Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. Anyway, so, I, so actually somebody came to us one time and said, hey, did, how did you get sponsorships from those guys? And we looked at him and went, uh, it's right here. And I pulled it out of my pocket. And he goes, oh, the light bulb just came on. Roger, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're buying your own. I was like, that's yeah, we're not right. sponsored by, by anybody. anybody. <laughs> Very cool. Sponsored by my yeah. bank account. That's what it is. So um, I got a question for you. Absolutely. This is your first AEF, right? Yes, it is. And what's your review of it? Well, there uh, you go. 
That's I, I would I would I would have. Of course, to say, you're now you're gonna steal his because he just didn't come back next year. Though. I well, there you go. Okay, that. there you go. That's, that's, what that's a good hear. answer. Yeah. Even so, if you don't, that's yeah, a good right. answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, For now, anyway, back. Yeah. whether whether you liked it or not, you're welcome back. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm glad I'm welcome back. Yeah. That's and shocking. Uh, that's that's kind of shocking. And you and I actually have seen you videotaping uh, everything. I hear. Are you doing something for the Electro yeah, Seven? Yeah. Okay. Well, not no no not for them. Just for my channel. Well, I know, but I mean, I'm just saying something on the the Arizona. Definitely, I'll I'll uh, I'll definitely have a, a video out, kind of like a at the field type of thing. Very very with, cool. Uh, very cool. That really giant 130 millimeter that was out here. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Got some good footage of that. Yeah. I actually got the footage when he stuck his ESC printed, 3D printed. Yeah. Oh, you got okay. You got when that guy was out there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could hear it. Yeah, yeah. Heard you it heard it. Happen. Yeah. yeah. I was Same with us. Right we were like there. going, huh? Yeah. I told him that didn't sound good. He goes, no, that was okay. Yeah. 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 That was okay. Yeah. He's like, oh no, that was alright. And I was like, "Yeah, something, no. something." Yeah, doesn't and sound we were right. standing what a bay up from you guys, and uh, <clears throat> yeah. uh, Mike was with me, and and uh, and he goes, did, it, "Did he just suck something up like a rock?" Yeah, and I go, yeah, "That exactly. didn't, it didn't quite sound like a rock." But I said, "We'll find out when he goes. And he makes his right hand turn, and he whether it, it, yeah, and he's going, you know, balls to the wall, yeah. to, you know, having floored, and yeah. it ain't going nowhere." Right. And he it, turned. He had plenty of power. Yeah, like, he okay. was really lucky actually because uh, the it was the ESC um, Mount. clamp. Yeah. Mount, yeah. You know? yeah. He and he had 3D printed, printed it, yeah. and it had come up, and it hit the blade and shattered. Yeah. And so all those pieces were rolling around in there, which, A, the PLA didn't really do. If it would have been metal or something, it would have just stripped the blades going Probably. through. Probably. But, I mean, that's one of those Shibli or whatever. Yeah. Shibler. Sh Shibler. Mm -hmm. they're, uh, they're one of they're those. They're all carbon. Big, they're all yeah, carbon, they're carbon fiber. fiber. Yep. And they're very thick. They're like three mils. So when we took it, a, you know, I helped him. So when I went over there, I was like, yeah, I think something went through there. And he goes, no, I don't think so. And so I rubbed all his blades, and I was like, yep, you got two you right here. Yep. They're big chunks taken yep. out of it. And he's yep. like, oh, my gosh. So he picked up the mount, and he realized that it's, it was gone. But yep. he lucked out because he still had all the blades producing power. Yep. Exactly. But even though it was a little unbalanced, and, uh, but, you know, he got back around. So yep. he, he lucked out because that's the Odyssey and very expensive. That's, that's a turbine. Tell. That's a turbine right. that he converted so, to EDF. Exactly. So, yeah. I it, thought it, that was the biggest EDF I've ever seen. I, th I, was, I said, is that a 120 in there? Yeah. It's 130. 130. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Nice. Cool. It is pretty big. Yeah. yeah. It's monster. Yeah, he wasn't real happy about the uh, mount coming apart because he's like, wow, that's going to be an expensive fan. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I told him, I was like, you might be able to sand some of it yeah. off and just fly it the way it is if you dynamic balance it, right. you know. But That'd be hard to he kind of stood there like, really? And I was like, yeah, you know, put it on a spindle and the lowest yeah, blade. Sure, you yeah. can. There's ways to do it, yeah. you know, if you want to kind of milk it. But I, I don't know. It's a very expensive kit. And For sure. Just throwing it in the air on a whim. You know, it's like, yeah. But he flew it again. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he came back That's and flew great. it. So. He was ripping it. The second oh, yeah. 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 yeah, he was ripping around. He was yeah. kind of more comfortable with it, I think, yeah, first time. Sure. The first time was a maiden, actually. Right, so. it was. Yep. So, um, but he did a good job, and uh, it looked great in the air. And um, Blind on 16 at. I know, right? Wow. Isn't that crazy? That's some power right yep. there. Yeah, that's almost a 12-volt battery yep. out of your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've seen some of those, some guys that had some pretty big, you know, EDFs that were working on almost a 12-volt battery. I was mm -hmm. like, dang, dude. So that's kind of crazy. He was pretty much flying the Bronco off of one of them 12-volt batteries. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah that Bronco that mm -hmm. was in here, that yeah. thing. Through. I've actually flown that, and it's it's unbelievable. It looks just super stable. Oh, my it looks gosh. Like it's just, cat, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, the only thing that uh, it doesn't do is it's not it's not a fast roller, okay. right? Yeah. So it rolls a little bit slower. You have some altitude. Uh, you have to have a little bit of altitude because yeah. the nose does drop. Or you have to be familiar enough to yeah. be low to the ground. Up but, elevator. But, uh, yeah. So it, uh, but it's, it's, it's got nice coupling to it. It does a really good job. Ali and I flew it uh, a year or two ago, I guess, when it first came out. So he let me go out and demo it and so. Nice. And then uh, the little crescendos I demoed this year, too. Oh, okay, we were talking about cool. that on a podcast. So nice. very, very Are they cool. fun? They, they are fun. very, very yeah, fun. Yeah, that. it's worth it. Um, yeah, if you were interested in doing one of those, you know, on your channel, it, I definitely would uh, suggest. Yeah, they're not bad. They're I think they're only 160-something. $160 $160. And they're 3S, right? And they're 3S. Mm -hmm. 3S, and, uh, I think 300 Incredibly fast, incredibly slow, which is weird to say in the yeah, same state. a great flight but, envelope. Yeah, sure. it's really a, You could just hover it, you know, a little bit punch out of it and you know and then you can just do these incredible crazy things they were doing some pretty crazy yeah stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the funny yeah, part is you know we uh i got a chance to fly the the, the bigger version of the of the, of yeah, the glider yeah. and it's it's kind of i'm like watch that and i go wow that looks like a lot of fun and i'm like yeah we we weren't able to do that with the bigger version no, at all really? it was, yeah mm, yeah no, uh -uh. no the bigger version is a little more draggy than these things these are really thin yeah. wings and 
It, I mean, it, it was an okay glider, but, you know, it, it wasn't as exciting as these were. I mean, no, no, you know, no, those no, things no, were getting no, up and going. And Yeah, they hey, were kind of cool. Is it UMX foam? Or it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just yeah. comes little, in a box. Really tiny foam, yep. though. Yep. Yeah, really tiny. So, Well, cool. uh, we have really enjoyed having you on our channel mm -hmm. as well, and we hope to, uh, hope to uh, cross-pollinate, maybe see some of your viewers over. If you uh, haven't, we're, you know, we're – the Park Fire Podcast, we do it every two weeks, comes out uh, uh, an episode. It's just basically us talking about projects or events or whatever. And awesome. so we uh, we haven't really gotten into the reviewing section of it. Yeah, not too much. Mm -hmm. um, just because we, we're in three different locations. If we're all in the same location to build, that would be one thing. For sure. Um, and we all have different skill level, you know. I mean, we just because, uh, I, like, I fly everything up to turbines, and then he's on grass, and he does, you know, some other stuff. But, um you fly EDFs, EDFs and, mainly, you know, mainly yeah. scale. So, uh, and he, but you, he does like competition for Top Gun and that kind of thing too. Cool. So, uh, so yeah, if you're listeners or you have subscribers and they want to kind of cross on it, we'd love definitely. to have that. I'm definitely. And then, uh, you know, we'd love to keep in touch with you to see, you know, kind of review your channel and look mm -hmm. at it and, and maybe send some of our guys your way as well. That'd so, be great. Yeah. I appreciate that. But uh, so, so tell everybody where they can go to find you and then how often your reviews come out and all that kind of good stuff. So, basically. Once a month, at least, I try to do a full review of a plane. Okay. Um, it's on Red Beer Reviews RC on YouTube. Okay. And I have an Instagram, Red Beer Reviews. Very good. All right. Well, there you have it. Appreciate it. Yeah. We That's appreciate nice you having on here. Yeah, nice thing. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, it's good. We appreciate you coming out. Yeah. Hope to see you again at the next year's Electric Festival. It'll be Absolutely. kind of fun. Yeah, maybe there. you guys have events in Dallas that you go to? or uh, Not in Dallas. Not in Dallas. Yeah, uh, 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 some on, a, on the East Coast, um, but uh, we... We're, we might have one or two coming up uh, down yeah. down near Austin area. Yeah, cool. Maybe, too. maybe I'll cruise down there. And yeah, that's kind of cool. The one on the East Coast is the uh, the uh, Doug mm -hmm. Leroy. Yeah, he's Leroy. He's uh, he's got a um, his club puts on one. Where's that? Too. It's in North Carolina. Oh, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was thinking about when. Uh, uh, usually, this is May. No, it's no. in the fall. Okay, I was thinking about cruising down September down to uh, yeah, I think Georgia. We can uh, Florida, we Florida can get his people. we can get the dates from Doug yeah, and yeah, we'll yeah. see. But we'll, we'll hook you up. Touch, yeah, sure. we'll hook you up for that. It's nice. kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, they're a great group. Yeah, of they're guys a great group of there. guys. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so we uh, we love working with Doug, and uh, we we surprised him one year, and all of us showed up. So that was pretty fun. What yeah, kind of, what he kind of came flying? here too. Oh, that's right. He did come here mm -hmm. too. He surprised us. He what kind of flying does he do? Uh, they do. Um, yeah, they do mostly electric. Oh, cool. Yeah, they uh they have a really nice field, and it's it's they work really well with the city. And the city loves them, and you know they do a lot of they do a, an event every year, and they kind of get the city involved, Very and cool. they get you know, spectators yep. and stuff. So it works awesome. out good. And he's now a goal is a goal club, right? Gold like, leader club. Gold yeah. leader mm -hmm. club. So he went from you know the small little group all the way to this gold leader club, and he's got he's he's a really good guy. Very cool. Yeah, really. And he's a listener too. So Doug, a yep. shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, we appreciate you joining us here on the Park Fire Podcast. We uh, hope to see you again in two weeks from Arizona. I am Michael. And I'm Jay from the hills of Texas. Chan and G. Let's fly. You have been listening to the Park Fire Podcast. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to your next visit. Please give our show a star rating and review, and feel free to email us your questions, topics, or suggestions to parkfirepodcast at gmail.com.